Good evening and welcome to the 2016 NCAA Division II Women's Basketball Championship quarterfinal number four press conference. We're joined by Pitt State. Uh, they fell to Grand Valley State 59-56 in this quarterfinal round. They finished the season 29-6 uh, and six on the season. Um, we are joined by head coach Lane Lord, Kylie Gafford, <coughs> and Kathy Brueggemann. We'll begin with an opening statement from coach. Well, first of all, I just want to say uh, – Grand Valley, they were so scrappy tonight. They played outstanding defense. And uh, we're, an all, we're an outstanding offensive team, and they really took us out of a lot of things we want to do. And so all the credit goes to Grand Valley. Obviously, we wish them the best. And um, that being said, that doesn't take away from what a year we've had and what, what a great group of kids. Um, I can't say more any more than uh, we're just so blessed and so impressed to have the team that we have. and. These two guys are just outstanding young women, and uh, they'll be the first to tell you that uh, uh, their efforts this year, well, I don't know if they'll tell you, but I'll tell you, their efforts this year um, were just unbelievable, their leadership with a very young basketball team. And uh, they got us to this point. They're big time players. Um, obviously, uh, um, tonight didn't go our way, but again, all the credit goes to Grand Valley, and we're just so proud of our team. Thanks, Coach. We'll open up to questions for the media. Just a reminder to state your name and affiliation before you ask the questions. So we'll now open up for questions. Coach, uh, Luke Stevens from Morning Sun. Um, the struggle for you guys this year was really fourth quarter. Uh, you talked about their uh, defensive back there. What was the secret to their game just as they did uh, tonight against the Pac-Man defense? They, they do such a great job of what we call Pac-Man defense, and they rotate very well. But they were they were daring us to shoot threes, and, and we did. And, and we're a great three-point shooting team. Um, tonight we didn't shoot it as good as we normally do, but all the credit goes back to Grand Valley. But um, we knew going in that uh, they were going to play that type of defense. They wanted to play in the 50s or 60s, and we want to play in the 80s. And uh, tonight they got their way, and, and uh, congratulations to them. Well, um, Michaela made some big shots for us, gave us the lead, and then she did a great job driving to the basket, but, um, you know, didn't get the call, which is fine. We had plenty of other chances to make uh, inside shots, so it was a – she's just a great player and really wanted the ball there at the end of the game. She just made a couple plays for us. To get, but defensively, we are good enough all night. I mean, to give up 59 points and uh, to a really good team, I thought uh, we were outstanding on the defensive end. You know, you guys scored uh, 10 points in the first quarter on uh, the ground floor, and um, I think you only got three the rest of the game. What do you see from the transition from the squad to uh, just kind of stopping that and allowing that defense to have the ball more? Well, they're just real sound defensively. They get back and protect. And we had a couple where we thought we had two on ones. and. They did such a great job of getting back and, um, you know, stopping the drive and and uh, rotating in on the backside. So um, I think their coach is fantastic, and I think he really had his team ready to go tonight. Coach, I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. So you're all at Penn State for many games this year. Uh, what's your path to staying in the game? Is there a line of just how many more games you think you want to see? Oh, I think uh, this one hurts because, um, you know, we've won 18 out of 19, just played unbelievable basketball. But uh, – I think when, you know, on the bus ride home or when we get back and uh, I think we'll reflect back on what a special season and, you know, how, you know, we had 3,000 people at the region championship game, 2,500 the two other games, our community and the way they supported us. And it's all because uh, we put a great product on the floor with great players, great kids, and they're awesome in the community. And I think they'll reflect back on that and uh, they'll enjoy what they did for the program, all of them. Yes, sir. Yeah, she does that a lot. She uh, um, she lets the game come to her. They did a great job denying her the basketball, but in our dribble motion, um, she gets a lot of kick out threes, and she's able to drive to the hole. Uh, but they really close down the gaps um, on the dribble motion. And uh, but to her credit, she didn't force anything. Um, 
did we try to draw up some? That's probably my fault. We should have probably done that more. Uh, they're just uh, two winners, uh, 4.0 students. Uh, when we look up student athletes, they're sitting right there for you. Uh, great examples for our team. And, um, just couldn't be more proud of them. Kathy's MVP of the, the regional, and Cali was all defensive team and uh, for our league, and uh, they've just gotten better and better each year. And you know, I think uh, after losing five seniors last year that won 96 games, I think everybody thought this was going to be a down year, and these two guys didn't let it happen. And that's uh, just shows how special they are. Kylie, can you maybe just reflect on your thoughts of your season and career, if that's fair to say? Um, kind of what Coach Lord said. Uh, I don't think people were really expecting a lot out of us this year. So to be able to make it where we did, it's it's incredible. And it's it's great that I got to do it uh, with all my teammates that were the best this year that they've ever been. <laughs> uh, this team's unlike any other. I mean. <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> Um, you know, when you put so much time and um, energy and heart into something like we have all year, um, it hurts pretty bad to come up short. But um, I will always be um, grateful to this community, this program, Coach Lord, um, for all they've done for me. I've grown so much, not just as a player, but as a person, um, past five years. And um, it was an honor to play for this program. Um, and with this group this year, um, I can't put into words what it's meant to me um, to be a part of it. Um, every single girl, top to bottom, is incredible. Um, everyone's worked so hard. And um, though it's hard right now, it'll sting for a while. But, um, you know, give it some time, and we'll be so proud of this group and what we did this year. Um, and to be able to do it with Kylie, I mean, she's my best friend in the whole world. Um, she always will be for the rest of my life. So I'm just thankful to be on this journey. Um, and it's just something I'll remember for the rest of my life. Um, it means a lot. You know, we've had this week a lot of, you know, former players reach out to us and tell us how proud they are of us. Um, so that meant – that was what meant a lot to us was to build on the program that they started. It goes back to all them. Um, and to be able to keep it going and keep building it, um, to see it grow like it has, uh, means everything. And we know this program's in great hands with Coach Lord and these girls under us. Um, I can't wait to come back and – See what they do in the coming years. Uh, I mean, they brought me here, you know. They're the ones, they're the ones who work just as hard as me every day and yeah, I'm a senior. Yeah, I've been here four years, but they put in just as much time. And I think that we're all – we don't really think about the fact that we're one of the top eight teams left out of everyone. I mean, it kind of – we say that we're in the lead eight, but it was it never really, like, registered that that was it. So just being here and this experience is – I mean, I couldn't ask for a better way to end my basketball career. And it's just – it's phenomenal to be able to do it with these girls. Any other questions? wrap it up. Congratulations and a great season. We want to thank all you guys for coming down from Joplin and Pittsburgh and supporting us all year long. You guys are awesome. Thanks.